multiplying algebraic expression. Uh, I took a video about that one uh, for 8th graders, so there will be some extra examples. You see there's a term and uh, there's an algebraic expression. So what we are doing, we are going to multiply this term by the first term of the inside the parentheses and second term. So we use the distributive property. You can watch previous video if you don't remember that part. So 3 times 2 6 x squared multiplied by x to the power of 5. We add the powers because the x and x to the power of 5, 7. So x power of 7. 3 times negative 4 it makes negative 12. x squared multiplied by x it becomes x cubed. So we multiply uh, the term and algebraic expression. We get the result of that one. That's first. Let's check the dead one. Again. This time, two terms and two terms here. Uh, we need to take this first term and multiply both of this and that one. 2x multiplied by x, 2x squared. 2 times 1, 2x multiplied by x, x squared. So let's write squared is a beautiful way. 2 times negative 5, negative 10. x multiplied by y. I can write x times y. You can write y times x still, but uh, Usually I write these uh, variables in the order of uh, alphabet, so x, y, so x came first. So I multiply all the terms by 2x, now I'm going to multiply by plus 3, right? The sign the signs is the sign of 3, the uh, y, this term, so be careful about that one. 3 times 1, 3, y times x, I'm going to write x, y, so x come first, I wrote x first. 3 times minus 5, minus 15 y times y, y squared. So I finished the multiplication, but here be careful, as you see there are like terms. We combine the like terms together, so I'm going to get 2x squared, minus 10 plus 3 minus 7xy, then minus 15y squared. So that's end, I don't have any other like terms. Okay, everyone, uh, to solve this question, again, we will use distributive property, but this will be a bit uh, longer than others because there are three terms and another three terms. In the total, we are going to get nine terms. x squared multiplied by 2x cubed, it's become 2x power of 5. x squared multiplied by 3x squared, it's become 3x power of 4. x squared minus 4x minus 4x power of 3 plus 2. 4x power of 4y, now I'm going to multiply by that one, then 2 times 3 is 6x power of 3, then 2 times minus 4 minus 8x power of 2, so I multiply all of them. Now, multiply by 1, if I multiply by 1, all of them, they will be same, so 1 times 2x cubed, so I need to write same algebraic expression, that's plus 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x. That's a long one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine terms. So let's combine the like terms. I don't see any uh, like terms with x power of 5. So there's an x power of 4, another x power of 4 here. There isn't another uh, left. So let's continue with negative 4x cubed plus 6x cubed plus 2x cubed. That's and and the last minus 8x squared plus 3x squared minus 4x so it's not like there's no like term with minus 4x cubed let's combine them 2x power of 5 alone 3x power of 4 plus 4x power of 4 together plus 7x power of 4 minus 4x cubed plus 6x cubed 2x cubed plus 2x cubed is become plus 4x cubed so x cubed is done minus 8x squared plus 3x uh, x squared it's become minus 5x squared then minus 4x that's the end of the video 1 2 3 4 5 terms 1 2 3 4 5 terms so that's the end thanks for watching next uh, that's the end next uh, video we will talk about binomial equation